I welcome students. In the previous chapter, we have seen the nutrition in plants. This, in this topic, we are going to see the information about the nutrition in the animals. In the previous lesson, we have seen the plants are nutrified or they get nutrition by the two modes, that is, heterotrophic and heterotrophic. But here, how does the animal get nutrition? How, what, which are the mode of intake of food? We will see in today's topic. Okay, so let us discuss here what is the nutrition. We knew that nutrition means what? Taking in food component inside the body and utilization that. Utilizing that for getting energy. This, is, this process is called as a nutrition. What do you mean by nutrition? Nutrition means what? The taking in food component inside the body and utilizing these components for production of energy. This is called as a nutrition. Okay, now how does the nutrition take place in the animals and what are the important things key things in the nutrition of animals nutrition of animals require nutrient requirement there are three things which includes nutrient requirement second one mode of intake and third one utilization of food in the nutrition of animals three things uh, included first thing nutrient requirement the whatever the nutrients are there those all nutrients that animals should be get uh, should have then mode of intake mode of intake means what having the food there are a specific mode of intaking food means taking in food and third one utilization of food whatever the food which is uh, taken inside the body of the animal utilization of that food for produ production of the energy these three things are important and included in the nutrition of animals. The next point, the component of food. In the previous standard, we have seen that there are several components of a food. There are mainly five components of food present in the food substances. Whatever the food substances we have, uh, these all food substances reach in these five food components. Then which are the five food components are there? First of all, carbo carbohydrate. The carbohydrate present in the all cereals. Okay? Carbohydrate. And it is a main source of energy. Then the proteins. Proteins are uh, included. Proteins are present in the milk, milk products, etc. Then fat. All the oily food substances, fatty substances have the fat minerals and vitamins the vegetables and fruits are a rich sources of vitamins and minerals now this all the food constituents or food components are very important for the production of the energy now what is the digestion what is the digestion what is the definition of digestion digestion is not only taking the food inside the body then what is the digestion digestion means what breakdown of the complex food into simpler substances now whatever the food the animals having whatever the food the breakdown of that food substances into simpler substances and utilizing that simpler substances for the production of energy is called as a digestion i'm repeating again digestion is the process of breakdown of complex food components into the simpler substances and utilizing that simpler substances for the production of energy this process is called as a digestion means uh, having only having the food it is not digestion that food should be um, converted into simpler substances and then that simpler substances should be used for the production of energy this whole process is called as a digestion then different ways of taking food now there are many types of animals are there, different types of animals are there and the process of intaking food varies from the different one animal to the another animal. Now for example uh, honeybees, honeybees or hummingbird, they suck the nectar from the flowers and then they use that nectar as a food. Okay, in the snake, for example snake, snake swallows the food or snake swallows the Pray. Uh, take example of in front of the human being or some other animals, they feed on the mother's milk. In this way, the 
mode of intake of food differs from one animal to the another animal so the uh, mode of taking food is different starfish there is one amazing fact about the mode of taking food in the starfish okay we all knew that the structure of starfish is like this now what happens uh, starfish mostly uh, feed on the hard covered shell or the animals which lives in the hard covered shell which is made up of a calcium carbonate now what happens when the animal try to come out by breaking the shell at that time the starfish pops out his stomach through his mouth means it opens it uh, it pops out his stomach through his mouth outside and after eating the prey after eating the food it again goes back and the food get di digested slowly in the body in this way the starfish takes in the food such a way there are different types of taking food in the different animals but how does the process of digestion takes place in the human being which organs are important for the digestion of food in the human being and what is the mode of taking in food in the human being we all know human being takes in food with the help of mouth okay now which are the organs uh, useful which organs are useful in the process of digestion in the human body there are several systems to carry out the specific functions for example there is a presence of digestive system respiratory system reproductive system blood circulatory system such a way there are various systems which carry out the specific functions for the process of digestion digestive system is present in the human body now which are the organs of the digestive system see digestive system is consists of buccal cavity esophagus or it is also called as a food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus the process of digestion starts with the buccal cavity okay buccal cavity means mouth now the process of digestion starts in the buccal cavity and ends with the anus now during the process of digestion all the food whatever the food we have that food first of all converted or broken down into the simpler chemical substances afterwards these simpler chemical substances are converted up are absorbed into the blood and then after uh, this blood is supplied or provided all over the body parts and later it is used for the production of energy in this way the whole process of digestion takes place and for the purpose of the digestion these all organs are important now uh, along with these all organs these all organs are parts of the digestive system and these all organs are also the parts of digestive tract okay what is the digestive tract if we started from the buccal cavity it is a long tube till anus that's why it is a digestive tract it is also called as what digestive tract or alimentary canal it is also called as digestive tract or alimentary canal along with this alimentary canal there are uh, um, salivary glands pancreas and liver these are the some organs salivary glands pancreas and uh, liver these are the glands which secretes the digestive juices into the specific part specific organs and due to these digestive juices what is the function of digestive juices these digestive juices break down the complex substances into the simpler substances so along with the along with this alimentary canal and all these glands together are said as a digestive system these alimentary canal organs of alimentary canal and glands together said as digestive system okay in the next session we will see in the next video we will see 
how does the digestion the process of digestion takes place in the human body with the help of one diagram thank you please note it down